Hi! <laughs> it's been a long while I didn't update you about my life in Bali. As a photographer, because for those new here, I moved from London to Bali to keep growing creatively, bring you better videos, take more photos, collaborate with people. But in two months, it's been totally crazy because I moved eight freaking times with all my photography gear, my legates, and I moved by myself here. I came alone, so I didn't have any help, and it's been a pain in the ass. Plus also, I felt very sick in Christmas. It was my first Christmas alone, completely alone. The doctors had to come to my place. Anyway, it's been rough, but at the same time, I'm very happy. So in today's video, I'm gonna tell you all the updates about my life here, what happened these two months, the future of my channel, because there are so many new videos coming up and I'm very excited about because I'm gonna be able to teach you way more about photography in the creative industry. And then, obviously, I've just moved finally to a long-term villa and I'm gonna give you a tour because I don't know about you, but I love seeing tours of properties on YouTube. I think they are very interesting and I always love to see the price as well so I can compare and you're gonna be very surprised about the price of this two-bedroom villa because so many of you were on Instagram, oh my god, that place is amazing, it must be very expensive. No, it's not. I will tell you later. <laughs> So all of that is coming up in today's video, but one of the reasons I moved from my last apartment, because if you follow me on Instagram, I did post that I was moving there long term and then I had to move out. The reason why is this, listen to this. <laughs> yeah, that was every single night, not at 5 in the morning because I wake up very early, it was at 2 in the morning, at 3, at 4. It's very hard in Bali to find a place that there are no roosters around and stray dogs. There are so many stray dogs, so it's very hard to find a place quiet at night. Not always, but many times you're gonna have to sacrifice something in order to have something else. And in this situation, I have traffic during the day, but at night I sleep like a baby. I know I will find the perfect place in the future, but for now I'm very happy with this place and I don't have to be with a suitcase in the floor anymore. I can hang my stuff and have my gear around and it's way more comfortable. And so many of you on Instagram were asking me why the hell I'm moving so many times rather than checking for something long term right away. First of all, it takes a lot of time to check something long term. And second of all, I wanted to have a feeling of the different areas. Bali is not that small. You have so many places and I wanted to experience those places to see what I see myself living long term. And I'm happy everything went wrong in that apartment because of the noise at night, because I thought I wanted to live there long term. And then I came to Luwatu, where I am right now, and I much prefer it. So before I was in Pererenan, it's close to Changu, it's where everything happens. So many creatives live there, filmmakers, photographers, and people I really want to network with and become friends as well. But I didn't feel like it was my place. I felt like it was London, but in a very small place, even worse than London, because it was very chaotic, a lot of traffic. I've just learned to ride a scooter here in Bali, and it's not easy. And in that area, it was very overwhelming, so my body didn't feel good. I came very stressed out from London, and I didn't want to be in another place, which I consider it was a bit stressful for me. So for now, I preferred Uluwatu. The very first moment I put my feet here, I was like, I love it. It's more quiet, it's more relaxed, the beaches are more beautiful, the cliffs are amazing. I don't know, I feel like home here, and I'm very happy to be in Uluwatu, at least for now, because I can always move. The good thing about Bali is that you can move around and there are different areas for different things. If you go to Ahmed, which I love, is where I learned free diving years ago. It's all about diving. So I know I'm gonna go to Ahmed as well, maybe for a weekend or for a week. Maybe I can go to Changu to network or to go out because it's very crazy over there. I can do everything I want, but as a base, Uluwatu is perfect for my lifestyle. The future of my channel. It sounds very dramatic, but it's not. So one of the reasons why I moved to Bali is because creatively, I wanna take more kind of photos, I wanna do different videos as well, introduce more topics on my channel, so I can vlog a little bit about my life as a photographer, I can share still educational content. So I wanted to create a mix of things, right? So you get to know me 
And at the same time, I teach you what I humbly know about photography and the creative industry. So obviously in Bali, there are amazing places. And in Indonesia, so many of you were telling me, don't stay in Bali. I'm gonna settle in Bali, but I plan to travel Indonesia a lot and come back to free diving. I want to experiment with underwater photography. So hopefully I can connect with someone that helps me to record my process so I can show you as well and document my learning process as an underwater photographer. But I don't promise anything because it's quite hard to document something like that. But anyway, that's just one of the things I'm thinking about because also I want to visit Raja Ampat, Mentawai Islands and many other places in Indonesia and be able to go in photography adventures, document them and obviously teaching you as well how I do my self-portrait photography in nature, to teach you how to do landscape photography and also to share with you my life. I'm planning as well to collaborate with many people, not getting paid for it, just in exchange for photos and behind the scenes for you guys, for my channel, so I can teach you portrait photography in nature, not just in the studio. But I'm gonna show you now a little bit the villa and I'm gonna give you a tour and you're gonna be able to see a little bit my plans, but I don't know if it's gonna work out, so I'm gonna show you. It's very hot, <laughs> super hot. Okay, so this is the living room and it's open. This is something I don't really like because when it's open, it's freaking hot. There is a fan there. So ideally in the future, I would like to find a villa with a closed living room. So there is air conditioning. It's way too hot here. But anyway, it's beautiful. It's stunning. And I'm gonna show you now the bedrooms and the idea I have for one of the bedrooms. So this is the second bedroom. Right now it's empty and I want it to create maybe a small studio. This is the view. <laughs> It's quite bright, I like it. And you have a desk here as well. And then I'm gonna show you the bathroom. So the bathroom is very nice as well. It's quite open there. Again, very hot here when it's open. And you have the bathtub and the shower and the sink. Okay, so why I wanted a second bedroom? First of all, I want to be able to invite my friends over when they are coming to see me and I'm very excited to announce that one friend is coming next week and my two very, very best friends, my London family, they are coming in April. So I'm very happy to be able to host them and they can stay with me. That's one of the reasons. And the other reason is because Ideally, I want to create a home photography studio. If you follow my channel, you know that I did this in London many times and I love it because I can get creative with myself and I do my self-portrait photography, record my YouTube videos. So yeah, but the problem here is that there is a huge window, so I don't have a wall. And then here I have a TV and then I don't have too much space here. So I was thinking maybe to do something in this wall, removing obviously this thing, or otherwise I'm gonna put a backdrop holder here and then a paper backdrop. I'm not sure yet. I'm not sure what I'm gonna do. But you follow along, please subscribe to my channel to follow my adventures and to learn about photography and creativity. And click the bell button to be notified about my weekly videos and you will be able to figure out how I managed to create a home photography studio here. Or maybe I find another villa which is better, I don't know. But I love this one for now, so it's very good. And I'm gonna show you now my room. This is my bedroom. As you can tell, it's a bit bigger. I have my desk there, it's a bit messy. <laughs> I show you here. I have some stuff there. Yeah, I have all my gear here. You have to be very careful in these places because of the humidity, it breaks the stuff. So many people complained about having the MacBook Pro ruined because of the humidity. So I have all my stuff always in the room with their conditioning. And I love the views as well. This is my window and I love it because you can see all green and the swimming pool. And I'm gonna show you now the outside, even though you saw already a lot. <laughs> That's one of my favorite places in the villa, <laughs> that chair over there. This pool is private, it's just for myself, and I love swimming, so I'm very happy with this. And then I have this gazebo here, which is nice as well to hang out. Please tell me below what do you think about this place. I think it's quite good. There is a lot of traffic during the day and the noise, but I'm getting used to it. The worst part is to record, but what I'm doing is using the lavalier, so it doesn't pick the sound around me that much. And the price for this villa is exactly the same price as I was paying in London for a very small studio flat in South London, very far away from Central. Actually, with the bills in winter, 
it was even more expensive than this place. <laughs> So I paid for this place 20 million Indonesian rupiah, which is the equivalent to 1,000 pounds, and it includes twice per week a cleaner, and yeah, also the gardener and the guy who cleans the pool once per week. So I think you can agree with me that the quality of life here can be quite better than in Europe. Obviously, you have to work online. I do have a video where I explain how you can do it as well to be able to live remote in the creative industry like I do, or otherwise a quicker way to do it. So please check it out. I'm gonna link it somewhere here. And subscribe to my channel if you didn't yet. Like the video because it helps me a lot. And I will see you very soon. Big love from Bali.